Welcome, I'm from Amiz, Samsung Galaxy S22, and today I will show you how you can enable your power saving mode. So to get started, all you need to do is pull down your notifications, extend them, and you will see your toggles with power saving mode somewhere in the corner. This is the default orientation, so hopefully for you it's in the same place. So from here, simply tap on a toggle, and there we go, your power saving mode is now enabled. Now I'll also add that you can do a couple additional things to extend your battery life uh, further by manually changing the settings. So those settings would be uh, turning off a couple of those toggles that we have right here. Now right now I have majority of them turned off so for me that won't really apply but uh, by default uh, if you haven't changed anything things like Bluetooth, uh, location, Wi-Fi, mobile data um, and NFC will be turned on so you can turn off all of those. So as you can see I do have location on so I'm gonna turn that off close because counterintuitive options um what else is here looks like everything but i'm gonna go into edit buttons just to make sure that nothing is turned on here as well and it looks like it isn't okay so uh, that's a couple toggles that I can turn off and additionally if you have your phone set to be much brighter uh, for instance like so uh, you might want to lower down the brightness. This will give you the b best uh, results. So lowering halfway will yield you several additional hours of battery life just by doing this simple little edit. So anyway, uh, this is the things that can also change on top of the power saving mode. Now once you're done with the power saving mode, you can turn it off by tapping on it. Uh, but the changes that we have made to the uh, toggles right here and the brightness, um, you will need to revert them yourself because those were just outside of the power saving mode and last thing last when you hold the toggle it does take you to the settings of power saving mode uh, with a couple options right here so as you can see um, this is the default settings so when you turn on your power saving mode it does things like turn off your always on display limits the cpu uh, speed to 70 percent and decreases brightness by 10 percent along with turning off your 5 gigahertz uh, wi uh, not wi-fi but just mobile data you do also have uh, this option, limit apps and home screen. Uh, I don't really recommend turning that on. This is like the extreme version of power saving mode. So just to showcase this, I'm gonna show you how this looks like. So there we go. Uh, this one, uh, once enabled, this is just prioritizing battery life. So it removes things like your wallpaper, uh, removes a bunch of wall, uh, applications right here, even your, even your toggle panel right here. Actually, no, this one isn't limited. So this one looks normal but usually it is uh, just removing a bunch of toggles and keeping the most essential ones so yeah like i mentioned this prioritizes battery life and to close this you would just tap right here and select turn off power saving mode so there we go uh one last thing that a power saving mode does which isn't really disclosed anywhere um turns off 120 hertz and uh, turns on the 60 hertz refresh rate instead and number two if you're using mo mobile data and wi-fi it turns them both off when the device is in sleep mode and this would be a sleep mode and because of that you won't be getting any kind of notifications from apps that require internet connections those apps would be things like facebook messenger instagram and so on so when you wake up your device again it reconnects and then you'll get everything synced up in bulk so you just get spammed with notifications at once but anyway this will conclude just the um, power saving mode and a couple of additional options that will closely uh, correlate with it and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching mm -hmm.